seen saggy titties, big titties, long titties, short titties. I seen them all. They wanted a piece of big legs. Like, I'm sorry, they wanted to see a piece of big legs. It's Yamani Alexis. Welcome back to the channel, the video, the banger, whatever you want to call it. My voice is giving. <coughs> I'm sick. Okay. So my mug is going to be making a very important appearance in this video. I'm going to be sipping tea while I'm spilling that, okay? So if you guys haven't read that title, you know this video is a sultry story time. The story time is just in time before you get back into the swing of things of responsibilities for your work week. So I hope you're enjoying your Sunday evening and hopefully I can be the tea that sends you to bed. Some chamomile lavender, okay? <laughs> to be exact. So this story takes place in 2021. I had just started a relationship, AKA rebound, AKA situationship is what it was more like, um, with someone with the promise of being flown out for my birthday, right? So it was like an all expenses paid type trip, but the kicker was I had to go with said person. Now I knew way better then to believe this person's word because we tried to talk in the past and it just wasn't working and I knew like it wasn't going to be something I was interested in but I still like you know went along with it because I was trying to mend my little old broken heart. We start talking and you know things are getting like I'm starting to actually like this dude. Like, I, I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know why. Like I said I had I think it had a lot to do with the fact that I was broken hearted by somebody I truly loved so like anything after that any attention any anything after that y'all know how rebounds go so I think that's where the 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 like for this person be began because I never truly like liked them I don't think ever at the time I wanted to go to Jamaica and I'm so glad I waited till my 30th birthday to go to Jamaica because Jamaica was such a romantic beautiful trip with my baby like I wouldn't have wanted to share that moment with anybody else like I promise you so I'm glad it happened the way it happened babe if you're watching this I love you so much but anyway we're getting off topic so I decided on Cancun at the time I forgot why I didn't go to Jamaica I ended up going to Cancun and in Cancun there is this very like spicy resort out there that I knew nothing about because when I was actually booking the trip I chose this resort because of the colors and like what they offer like the fact that it was all inclusive and like the colors really like spoke to me I'm, I'm a really bright person and they were like yellows blues greens like purples pinks like the resort was beautiful it was right up my alley right and so I chose <laughs> I chose temptation not knowing what temptation entails i can't stress that enough i did not know about this resort before i went to it i just selected a resort that i thought was pretty and something that wasn't too far from the airport and something that was really really like in my price point at the time because i knew what homeboy pockets was given and i wasn't trying to like make him spend no buku money because he was a broke ass bitch it's given like i gotta give y'all the background story but not today not today let's focus on the story time right so we end up being done like my birthday is in may we were done at the start of april like i was like i can no longer even sit in the same room with you communicate with you talk to you anything so you're gonna give me back the money that i paid for my portion of the resort because he didn't have it at the time that i booked i booked when i had a lump sum of money around tax time and he paid me back so i said you're still going to pay me back because I wasn't supposed to be going on a trip this year. You promised me to, to fly me out and that's what you're going to do. So um, he paid for everything and I gave him his flight credits and everything. You do what you do because that's how real ones do it. Right. So I still ended up going on this trip or whatever. And at the time, the person I was healing from and rebounding from was doubling back, a.k.a. my current boyfriend. Right. He started like easing back in and creeping back in a pork and go kind of situation like I wasn't even trying to get my feelings wrapped up like I knew what it gave and that's all I wanted and that's what I was telling myself but that wasn't the truth obviously before all of this before my birthday even came up like I had asked him I'm like yo I know we just started back like speaking or whatever the case may be but do you want to go with me to Cancun he was like you know it's kind of last minute or whatever so I'm not gonna be able to swing that it's like I got a lot to do you know I got gigs and stuff so I'm like all right cool 
So I can't just be going to some random ass country by myself for three days. I've never been out of, uh, I've never been anywhere internationally before. I've never been on a trip by myself before, period. So this is something new for me. So I need you to swing by and swing that before I go anywhere. And it was very much so in agreement. And I had a great, marvelous night. I went to Tao for dinner. And then um, after Tao, we went to karaoke. And then after karaoke, we went to a rooftop bar. So we had like a full-fledged evening or whatever with me and my girls. And I had a great time. So after all of that, like I said, we came back. We did what we did. He drove me to the airport the next morning. I get to Cancun. I get to Mexico. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm just kind of nervous because, like I said, this is my first time being out the country. I'm alone. Like, I'm very weary. I'm very nervous. I'm very scared. Like, I booked transportation to it from the airport. Like, I did my due diligence. That vlog is up. I will try to link it up here in the card so you guys can have it and you guys can see it. Um, I had a great time. But because of the type of resort that it is, you can't do a lot of recording. So I'm going to fill in those blanks. <laughs> I get to the resort and the first thing the lady tells me is like, what do you like to drink? So I'm like, oh, this is new. I'm like, you can get me a pina colada, period. So they give me a pina colada. I'm waiting to check into my room and they're giving me the rundown. So they was like, have you had a tour of the resort? Like, are you informed about the resort? Do you know what the resort is like? And I'm like, no, this is my first time. I just booked on Expedia. So she's like, okay, we're gonna have somebody come give you a tour and give you a map of the resort. So I'm like, all right, this is nice. I like this. I love this. Give me the rundown, please. She sits me down and we're talking about this beautiful round table. She hands me my pina colada. She hands me a map and she gives me like my pamphlet with like my, um, my room card and everything in it. And she's like, do you know about the pools and things like that? And she, and I was like, no, like this is my first time here. Like I told the lady at the desk and she was like, oh, we're very free at this resort. If you want to let your chi chis out at the, at the pool, you can let your chi chis out. Um, it's very top optional. And I'm like, like I'm looking at her like. Drinking my pina colada like with the straw. I'm like, she's like, yes. I said you can let your chi chis out. She went just, you can let your chi chis out. And she was like, you you got a lot of chi chis, so if you want to let your, I'm like, she she made it a point to like repeat herself. She was like, yeah, bitch, you heard me. I said you can let your chi chis out. So then she goes on to explain to me like the other parts of the resort and that you have to book your, you have to reserve your dinners and it's like a certain restaurant that you can only go as a couple. So I'm like, damn, I'm already excluded from that. Like I can't go. She was like, honestly, if I were you, I would meet somebody at the resort and I would go and act like a couple. And I'm like, why is she giving me all this tea? I go upstairs, I'm drinking my pina colada, I film the room as YouTubers do, and I'm like, I'm hungry, I wanna go downstairs, but first I need another drink. So I go outside to the pool that she told me about that was Chi Chi and top optional, and I'll be damned, as soon as I didn't walk down the ramp, all I saw were cha chas of, or Chi Chi's as she put it, every shape, size, color, cut i seen surgical cuts i seen saggy titties big titties long titties short titties i seen them all big titties little titties gargantuan titties freaking teenage titties at uh, um mosquito bite titties i seen every kind of titty i could see it wasn't no teenagers there because you had to be um 21 and up to be at that resort so i get to the bar and of course a group of guys swarm to me like i have on this bikini i have a lot to show like it it is what it is comes with the territory and uh, and obviously these people know about this place like i'm the only one that's in here with fresh eyes looking around like a deer court in headlights in amazement like these people are so free and i'm like i saw i was like i felt like a church girl so <laughs> And I'm far from that. I'm telling you, I'm far from it. And I was just shocked. So, uh, <laughs> I'm sitting at the bar and some guy walks up to me. And he's talking to me. He's like, hey, my friends told me to, like, come up to you and talk to you. And I'm like, okay, like, hello, cheers. Like, you know, get out of my face. Because I'm still paranoid that I'm here by myself and I don't want to be by myself. And now that I know what kind of resort this is, I'm definitely mad that I'm by myself and I, that my boo thing couldn't come with me. I'm talking to this guy. He's telling me, he's like, yeah, we just came off this thing called the boobs cruise. And I'm like, boobs? Like, like drink? He's like, no, boobs cruise. Like, where you get on and they sell your bra to the top of the sale. And I'm like, 
he was like, yo, it was crazy on there. People were having all kind of activities going on. And I'm like, now I'm even more. I'm like, what? Okay, so this guy reappears throughout the time that I'm at this resort. Um, He's really nice. He's really sweet. But I can tell that he's low-key, like, flirting with me every time he sees me. And if I'm not open to the idea of talking to him at the moment, he will look upset or he will look sad. So, um... I had felt bad at one of the attempts of him trying to approach me one time. And the next time I seen him, I was like, hey, you know what? Let's go to this restaurant that everybody's talking about. And you can go as my date, being that we are both here single and we don't have nobody to go to this restaurant. So he agreed. And we went to the restaurant and at sitting down at the table, once we were talking and getting to know each other, it was kind of awkward just sitting in silence. So I was just asking him a bunch of questions and come to find out he was married with children and that he was on this trip with friends who were single because I think they were there for one of his friends bachelor party. And I'm like, you don't have to feel peer pressured into being at this resort and flirting with people and trying to get your groove back. Like, homie, go home and be a married man. Like, it's OK. So. We had a great time, and the restaurant we went to was really, really nice. Like, but I'm trying not to engage too much in conversation. Because, like I said, this is a man. I don't want nobody to know that I'm by myself. So I get up from the bar, and I go down into the pool, and I see a group of three ladies, like, literally at the edge. And I'm like, please. I'm like, I know. Like, I'm like, are you guys here by yourself? And they're like, yeah, it's just us. And I'm like, please, can I sit and talk with y'all? Like, I, I just want to act like I'm with y'all. So they were like, yeah, sure. And I still talk to one of the girls this to this very day. Like, that's my baby. Like, we don't talk often, but when we do, like, it's, like, always a good time. Like, I really love me some Jeanette. If you're watching this, I love you, girl. They welcome me with open arms. And I'm like, I'm here. Yeah, listen, I'm here by myself. I don't want to seem like a target. Like, I just don't want to be by myself. I don't want to be caught in here by myself. I don't want people to look at me and think I'm by myself. Follow me to my room. So, like... You know, just make small talk. And small talk turned into big talk. And we just were talking. So now we're talking amongst each other. Now we're talking to other people. I met someone. Um, we still have each other on Instagram. And she's my birthday twin. Hi, boo, if you're watching this. And she was there with her with her man. So I was like, I was meeting more people as I was going along in the resort. So the resort, first day was cool, fun. I had dinner. Everything was like dope. Everything was fine. I went back to my room. Every night there is a theme party in um, the pool area where we were. It's like a stage. They put on a performance. It was really dope. So I go to the party. I have a good time. I meet a few people. I go back up to my room. Day number two. day number two i was only there for three days but day number two is what got me in trouble so <laughs> let me get a little bit more comfortable for day number two so i you know after day number one i'm talking to boopski and i'm like yo i'm really mad that you're not here and he's like i'm mad that you're not i'm not there either like that sound like fun or whatever blah, 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 blah. at this particular um time of day at the pool they were hosting a game and they were like we need one more volunteer so the girl that I met, she's 10 years older than me, but we're born on the same day. And they were like, we need one more volunteer. So she was like, oh, she'll volunteer. And I'm like, dang, girl, just volunteer me. You know, I'm here by myself. So I was like, you know what? Just, just to let me loosen up a little bit. Let me engage. So they like, all right, come out the pool and get on stage. So I get on stage and it's like the last chair. And I'm sitting and it's a line of women. And they all have their bras off. And I'm like, I'm not taking my fucking bra off. I promise you I'm not. I'm like, hmm, you better, better you than me, bitch. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not taking my bra off. So the announcer is like, you know, everybody else got their top off, but you like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I'm not taking my top off. So they're like, oh, so he was like, oh, she said she's not taking it off. It's okay. Whatever, blah, 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 walks away. So she's in the crowd, like, take it off, like, like doing signs. And I'm like, no. I'm not, no, I'm not doing that. So I see her start whispering to other people in the pool. And the pool is like jam-packed full of people. And the announcer is like announcing everybody like, oh, say your name and where you're from. Before he could get to me, all I hear is the whole entire pool. There's people in the pool. There's people outside the pool. There's people surrounding the pool. There's the people in the, um, in the bar stools that are in the pool and on the opposite side that are in the pool. And everybody's like, take it off. Take it off. Take it off. And I'm like, 
I looked at her, I was like, I'm gonna kill you. She was dying laughing, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to be the only party pooper up here. And I had the most to show, so I felt like I needed to keep it concealed. But like after a few chants, like what can you do? The whole place went, like, they wanted a piece of Big Lex. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, they wanted to see a piece of Big Lex. I'm a single woman, I'm here by myself. I just had to let my, my guard down because I was too guarded, I was too shielded, I was too nervous. So I was like, you know what? Let me be a, let me not be a party pooper, let me participate. So, I took off my damn bikini top. <laughs> and all I heard was, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, so I'm sitting there like holding them like, like mad awkward. Like I've never been naked in front of that many people in my life. Like it was so strange, right? So, not naked, but I've never been topless in front of that many people. I take off my, uh, my, my swimsuit top and, um, next thing you know the announcer is announcing the game so he was like oh yeah 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 so i tell them my name i tell them where i'm from and um now he's he's given the rules of the game so now the rules of the game is there's as many contestants or as many judges as there is and i think it was like seven or eight of us there was the same amount of guys and they had to do like this bay watch kind of like thing so they had to go in the pool come out the pool throw their hair back do like the little sexy thing you see in the movies walk up the steps to us and then do their worst like do your worst like you gotta like literally woo all of us right so because of where my chair is positioned i'm literally the first person they come into contact with and i'm like why fucking me i'm thinking because i was the last one to sit down that i'm the last person no 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 no. i was the first and because i was so i'm i'm, I'm a thickums all the other girls were small i'm the only thickums up there of course what does everybody do what does everybody do motorboat me every last one of them motorboated my ass okay so I'm like, one of them attempted to try to pick me up. I said, oh, you're brave. Because a big bitch like me ain't going, to, I'm not going up without a fight. Put me down. Okay? I, don't not drop me. Please. So, it was, and it, of course, he was, he was, you know, melanated like me. And he wanted to prove a point. He had muscles. And it was crazy because we had literally just had a conversation 30 minutes prior to the pool game started and he told me how he'd been there a few times and to me I thought he gave a little hmm or whatever so when that went down I was like okay it's giving something different like oh okay after this pool party I'm going to dinner and I'm coming downstairs and I'm literally everybody stopping me like oh my god you're you're New York hi oh my god I love you New York and I'm like I'm confused because I'm thinking they talking about like Tiffany Pollard, New York. And I'm like, I ain't no motherfucking New York. They were like, you were the girl at the pool, New York, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, huh? They're like, oh, my God, we love you. And I'm like, me? <laughs> Gay boys, like it, different shades, color sizes, men, women, couples, everybody alike. Just, just, it was like the most love I received as being a, like a complete stranger to these folks like it was it was so weird it was so weird and it felt welcoming but it was strange because of the, the freaking circumstances after the pool party i went to the spa i i had my spa treatment it was amazing like i said go watch the vlog now it's the phone party i've never been to a phone party before so i go to the bar inside the pool and everybody oh new york how you doing new york and i'm like oh this is so weird i'm like hey hi. all right so now i have to interrupt the story because i left something out yes it is confirmed i am sick and i definitely sound like barry white <laughs> okay um but anyway so i completely forgot to tell y'all about the phone party before the phone party was another competition and this was based on the women so it definitely much so was a twerk slash gawk gawk 3000 competition between women and it was funny and entertaining as hell do you hear me <laughs> but it just wasn't relevant to the story so i left it out by accident because i was telling the parts that pertain to me so i do apologize but this resort was definitely something that i think everybody should try at least once if they're open to it whatever and 
as soon as I walked in the pool, I'm talking to the lovely ladies that I met um, with my first day there, and um, uh, we were walking into pool into the pool, and this one guy just couldn't stop staring at me. So I'm like, what the? Like the New Yorker in me is like, what the fuck are you looking at? Like. It, it, you're, it, it's weird now mind you he's in the pool he got a girl right literally wrapped around him her arms wrapped around him. she's literally like like a child like gripped around him in the pool and i'm like i'm not on that swinger shit i'm not here to do none of that like get out of my face like i was really offended so i go to the bar that's inside the pool and i order this drink that i've been ordering this whole time that i'm there and this just loud rambunctious guy is just like oh shots for everybody da, 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 shots for everybody so i'm like you know looking at him i'm like damn i'm kind of loud but i'm talking to my friends and stuff like that and he like you too y'all too y'all sitting at the bar y'all can't just sit here with me y'all can't just sit here with me he pouring shots so i'm like all right screw it like it's a phone party i never been to a phone party before like let loose you know knock him back so mind you, I'm having drinks and he keeps pouring the shots, I'm knocking them back, knocking them back. And I know I'm not a drinker, but I still, I still, I still, I still try to be, you know, I try not to be a lame. Like I wanted to, you know, be with the shits. So it turns out homie that was staring at me made his way around. So now he's talking to the loud rambunctious guy and I'm like. Oh, Lord, how did he come over here? So now we're all talking to the girl he was cuddled up with, him, the loud rambunctious guy, and it was like two other couples. And we get to know them. We get to know where they're from or whatever the case may be. Come to find out, homegirl he was hugging up with, he just met her the day before. So I'm like, that is a little strange. Like, that, that's a little weird. And the two girls, the, uh, she was with another girl. She came with another girl, and he came with his father, sister her husband and him and they were all sharing a room i think weird and they like oh this is like i was six time being here and i'm like cringe but okay whatever so i'm sitting there ordering my drinks and the father's like oh i'm about to take you with you about to come home with me mind you he's the, the guy that was staring me at me in the pool we're gonna name him paul i don't know the guy that was staring at me in the pool just He's talking to me, but like staring through my soul. And I'm like, God damn, like you can stop looking at any day now. Like we're talking, we're having normal conversation. You don't have to be weird about it. So I'm drinking, but now I'm starting to let my guard down. I'm starting to get more loose about it. But Pops was like, oh, oh, you my type. And I'm like, the hell you is. The hell I am. Shit, I don't want you. I barely like your stargazing ass son over here. I'm like, I, so I told him straight up. I said, honestly, sir, your son could get me before you could. And that done started up some shit. So now the son like, oh yeah, word, word, word. I'm from New, I, like I, I, I'm from New York originally, even though I live in Texas, and and I'll, I'll come out there. Don't, don't do that. So I'm like, oh God, whatever. I'm like, I'm just saying because I'm not into your dad. Like I'm, I just I, that I just said it. But like, you know, you talking and shit, you popping and shit, you drunk. At some point, the girl that he was hugged up with, I was dancing on her. Like, we were on the bar, twerking on her. Like I said, it's a phone party. So I'm, you know, blah, 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 the water splashing. You know, it's lit. It's lit. So me, I like to turn up with girls. Like, I don't like, like, all that guy attention and all that. That's not, that's not my style. That's not my steez. I would much rather party with my girls, like, guys trying to interfere with that like really annoys me i'm one of, i'm like a girl's girl for real like when i'm out with my friends i'm out with my friends don't try to come try to talk to me don't make this a group thing your homie with my friend no i'm with my friends right i'm one of those so i'm twerking on the girl you know blah, 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 blah. next thing you know i'm feeling hard wood and i'm like Lo and behold, the stargazer, Paul, right? So I'm like, oh, here we go. So now I'm like a little apprehensive, but he's like grabbing my hips. Like he's forcing me to keep this with him. So I'm like, damn, all right. Like it ain't that deep. So, you know, give him a little something. I ain't giving him much as I was giving the girl, but I'm giving him a little something. So he like, you feel that? So I'm like, oh God, you one of those, Lord. So... I turn around like in mid dance and I'm like, all right, that's it. Like I sit down. He like, 
he goes into uncharted territory and he's like if i if if i like what i feel we going back to the room i was like and i ooh, and we went back to <laughs> his father set me up i'm convinced his father set me up tequila is not my friend and he kept pouring me shot after shot after shot tequila I learned that day that tequila is not my friend. The only time I drink tequila is when I'm with my man. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I go back to my room and I'm texting my home girl. Yo, I got a recommendation for you. I'm one of those. Like you, you not about, you're, you not about to get me amped off for this little shit. You just, this little performance you did. He done lied and said he, he a P star. I'm like, come on with the bullshit. Like, stop. Like, why we can't just have a moment? Handsome, attractive. It's just like, he's a little bit too much for me. Like he did a little bit too much. So I told my home girl because she was like interested in this other guy, but I think he was leaving or whatever. And she was like with the shit. So, like, I'm like, you know what? Since I know that you know that and I had a decent experience, I'm going to give you a recommendation. <laughs> so I told her about old boy. And that night was another theme party. At the party, I introduced them and they go off into a quartet. They go do their thing and it becomes the switcheroo. And I'm like, more power to you, girl. More power to you. This is why I gave you the recommendation. More power to you because that's not my thing. The, it wasn't supposed to happen in the first place. That's not my thing. Okay? So you go ahead on and you do you. All of that to say, this resort was not what I expected at all. Things that transpired, the people that I met, I met some really wonderful people without having those any of those weird strings attached. Like, I met some really nice people who really treated me with so much respect, like, was giving me money. Like, this is an all-inclusive resort. Like, just giving me money just because of who I was. Like, like, partied hard. Like, bought bottles and was like, here, this is your bottle. This is my bottle. Like, really had much love and respect for me. Like, so these are, you know, my money makers. <laughs> Low key. If these were my money makers. <laughs> And I had a ton of fun. I just wish I could take that experience back that I had that I didn't want to have. But I was just, I was wasted. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was wasted. And then I stayed on a six-hour phone call with hubby. At the time, he wasn't hubby. But he became hubby, like, a little bit a little ways down the line I, I was completely honest with him i let him know what happened and we just talked about a lot like we just talked about a lot we got a lot off our chest and it it, it bridged a big gap in between like how, where we were prior to us calling it well me calling it quits um a few months prior to us you know communicating again and it's crazy because it ended us up here like it, it, it's strange how things happen it's really strange how things happen but i'm so thankful for all the for, for everything that we've been through i'm thankful for all my experiences and the fact that i'm able to travel the fact that i'm able to do things that i've that my mother has never even done before so i had a time y'all i had a time was it a crazy time certainly it goes down in the books Will I go again? I don't know. Because I don't think my man going to let me go. And I don't think I will go with him. Because I might have to slice the bitch. Okay, so will I go back? I don't know. I don't know. I will put the battery in anybody's back to go have their experiences. But it just won't be me and my man. <laughs> and that's it. Like, I'm sorry. So I hope y'all enjoyed this juicy, juicy, juicy story time, y'all. This story time goes down in the books. And I've been holding on to this story for so long. And I honestly hesitated to film this video today. Because I truly just believe that some things should be, you should just keep to yourself. But if anybody's looking for a good time and not a long time. You know where to go. Okay? And with that being said, thank you for tuning into this video. 
like comment subscribe and share with anybody that you feel needs to hear this story time i guess and if i'm so gracious to have you i will see you in my next video <laughs> yomani alexis signing out and signing off goodbye